Hi everyone, it's Margaret Wallace Duffy and we're here at Shoppers World in Brampton at a community kiosk. Now across the country, these community kiosks in malls are often here to educate and build awareness on a variety of charities. Today we're here to talk about diabetes. With me now is Sylvia Krempel from the Canadian Diabetes Association. Welcome Sylvia. Hi, thanks for having me. Now, diabetes affects many Canadians. How many are affected across Canada? It's huge. It's 8.5 million people across Canada are either living with or affected by diabetes. Right. Now as an association, what is your mission? Service, research, education, and advocacy. Right. Now, not only just for people living with diabetes, but their families as well, correct? Right, right. Uh, a lot of people just think about the people living with diabetes, but it's a huge uh, dedication and commitment for the families as well, as well that have to support them. Right. Now, we're here at the mall, and it's wonderful that you're coming out to support people that are trying to educate for the Canadian Diabetes right, Association. Right, and that's exactly why we're here, is that when we, when people are supporting our cause and trying to raise awareness, we want to support them right in return. Right, now you were just talking about families, and with me now is Karen Sensich from Havoc to Harmony. This is a dynamite professional organizer. I know firsthand because she's helped to organize me. And you have a personal contact with diabetes. Welcome, Karen. Hi, thanks for having me today. You're right, Margaret. My husband is a diabetic, and my kids were quite small when he was diagnosed, so I've come up with some quick and easy things that people can implement in their homes to make you know dealing with this diagnosis easier on the whole family. Right, it's Let's so important because there's so many aspects and it affects the entire lifestyle. It now does. medication and checking glucose is really important so I see you've got a, a kit here. I do. I suggest something portable that can be moved around so that you don't have to be tying up the bathroom and put everything in here, the blood glucose meter and the lancets and, and the medication so that you know where to find it. And you can travel with it too which is Absolutely. great. Absolutely. It's, it's, yeah. it's summer coming up that's a great thing to be doing. Now what about the pantry? Tr eating is a, a really important aspect, eating properly with diabetes and whether you're a child and, and that's difficult or or whether dad's got diabetes. How do you help organize a pantry? Well, one of the easiest things to do, I think, is to color code things. So I've got some, some bins here so that the treats are color coded and the family knows that these are special, these are meant for dad not to be eaten. And in the fridge, we have, again, different color coding that what's in there is guaranteed to be sugar-free if he wants to help himself. Right. And there's a quick little way to tie all this into your, your shopping because as the moms, we usually do yes. the shopping. So I've developed a shopping list and it's for the family and you put it into something like this or have it laminated so that you can write on it and color code what you need. So you need granola bars for the regular family and sugar-free for the person with diabetes. It also has a whole list for the prescriptions, the renewals, all the kinds of things they need. So it's one-stop shopping. When you go out, you remember it all. Right, and then you can evolve. If it happens to be a child with juvenile diabetes, you're involving them in the process. You're keeping it quick and simple. And as a busy mom, that's really, really important. And most importantly, they're going to be eating healthier and as a result, be feeling better as well. Well, and it's involving them. Take them grocery shopping with right. you and let, th let them start reading labels and finding out what they're allowed to have. That's a great educational program. Absolutely. Well, thanks for your wonderful organization tips, as always. Now, as a therapist, I'm also really interested in how we can help through exercise. Eating properly is important as well, but staying active, not just for the person with diabetes, but as a family, because we want to support the family. In malls like Shoppers World, there are wall mall walking programs. Here it's called the Mall Milers, which they have these wonderful t-shirts. So when we live in Canada and it's horrible weather outside, there's no excuse. You can bring your family down to the mall and start walking so that you're all going to stay healthy and happy. Of course, here in Brampton, Canadian Tire stepped up to the plate and they sponsored this program. But if you don't have a mall walking program in your community, you may want to approach them at customer service and tell them that they need to get busy, step up to the plate, and make your family health, happy and healthy through those horrible winter times. Now, if you have any questions about diabetes, you can go to the website www.diabetes.ca or if you want some great organizing tips, not just for diabetes, but for life in general, you can go to HavocToHarmony.com. If you have any questions on health and wellness, don't hesitate to send me. Drop me a note to Margaret at reallifeoncts.com.